Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a Philadelphia and Reading Camelback with a Wooten uh, firebox a pattern uh, modeled by Martin Ottenbacher out of uh, Kent, Washington. It uh, is back from uh, some repairs and it joins its other uh, two family members here. Um, this one has a sticker from uh, the World's Fair in Seattle, uh, 1962, which fits into the timeline when Ottenbacher was uh, manufacturing pieces, or at least building pieces. Um, he used unique uh, die castings, so you find the similar castings on this engine as you do on the little bicycle engine and then also the CP Huntington. So you have the same type of uh, cylinders, same wheels, same trucks, um, same gearbox. Uh, that he just reused in different configurations. Um, we don't know very much about him, so he did make castings. So in theory, he could have done production lines, but uh, at this point, we only know of three of his uh, remaining examples. Um, he was active in the late 50s and in the early 60s. And we're pulling a set of uh, wood cars that were built by Guy Vaughn in 1935. He was out on, uh, in the New York area. These are beautifully handcrafted in 3 8 scale, uh, done to standard gauge. Um, using some aluminum on the uh, steps and uh, brass for the trucks. And a beautiful job on the, uh, the wood construction. He had a, a large layout in his basement out there. Um, and he had it built, I believe, six engines. Um, none of which I own yet. So. Uh, without further ado, thanks for tuning in. We'll head the little engine out here again. Uh, this one has replaced drivers because unfortunately the, uh, the die castings on um, the engines are going bad. Thank you for tuning in.